Hello friends. Today onwards, I am going to start a new series, a new technology videos on PostgreSQL. How do you pronounce it first? It, it depends on person to person. So like a SQL server, SQL server. So sometimes if you see my previous videos, sometimes I used to pronounce SQL, sometimes I used to pronounce SQL. In the same way, here people calls, some people calls PostgreSQL, some people calls Postgre, some people calls Postgres. But the purpose and the, the, and the end term is always the same. So you can use it as a Postgre or Postgres or PostgreSQL. So here also sometimes I use Postgres and sometimes I use like a PostgreSQL. It depends. Okay, so now let's come to the point. In this video, this is the first video on the uh, Postgres. So I am going to talk about how to do the installation on a Windows machine. So we'll continue how to use it, how to create it and how to debug it one by one slowly. So first of all, let's try to understand how to do the installation of Postgres. See, this is a one of the powerful WarDBMS open source platform. It's a open source free platform as of now. Okay, so let's come to the installation point. So just go to the browser and just uh, type the Postgres or PostgreSQL.org. So once you uh, type this PostgreSQL.org, so otherwise you can simply type in the Google saying that uh, free download of PostgreSQL, it's up to us. So just go here and uh, once you click on PostgreSQL.org, you will see this uh, page. Let's click on download here. So once you download here, so hope you know that like there are multiple operating systems um, uh, running in the world. So Linux, Mac OS, Windows, Solaris and BSD. So here as I mentioned, I am planning to show you to do the installation on the Windows. So for example, if your OS is Mac OS, you just select the Mac OS, you will get Mac OS related software. If you have BSD, you can just select that Solaris or Linux, it's up to you. Okay, even you can see the some source code, some some uh, we have some options we have. So let's not talk about now. Let's focus on how to do the installation on Windows. So let's click on Windows option here. <clears throat> so once you click on Windows option here, so obviously like you will be redirected to a, a separate page where you have Windows related stuff. So like other uh, softwares, so this Postgres also have multiple versions. So each and every version having their own uniqueness, having their own um, features, own advantages, own um, importances as well. So you can see this. So these are the list of versions you have. So PostgreSQL 12, 11, 10, 9.6, 9.5. So I am in 2020 year, the current version which is running in the market is 12. So maybe probably if you see the same video after um, a uh, couple of years or couple of months, the version might vary, but the instructions, installation process might be the same. Now, so it depends, like if you see the PostgreSQL um, uh, 12, you have a 64 bit Windows platforms of this. So 11, you have this and 10, you have this like this you have. Okay, so now you just select based on your uh, convenient um, version. So let's uh, to download it, you cannot download here, you just simply have a support. The installer are tested by EDB on the following platforms, they can be generally be expected to run on the other comparable versions. So here I am using Windows 10. So probably if you see, so I can use PostgreSQL 10 version. So if you have a so Windows like a uh, 2012 server, 2016 server or 2019, you can use the very recent version. So but I downloaded 12. So let me see either I'm able to install or not. So and also I'll download the 10 as well to see to complete the installation. Let's click on the download the installer option here. So once you click on the download installer option, hope you will see all the um, options here like this. 
okay so as i mentioned i download the latest version of um, postgres as of now the latest version which is running is 12.3 okay so in the same way let me download my os is uh, 64 bit so let me download 10.13 as well so you just need to simply click on download option here so once you click on download so it, it goes to a, a separate page and it automatically downloads at the uh, left corner so let it download okay so as i mentioned i already downloaded 12.3 version so let us see either 12.3 is able to install on windows 10 or not if not anyway i'm downloading the other software which i'll show you at the continuation now let's double click on it so once you double click on it probably hopefully the installation will go smoothly on any windows machine even not only this software any like let us take a um, sql software as well it will go smoothly you do not need to worry too much or you do not need to know much to do the installation so once you double click on it so it will ask for administration um, privileges you just need to click yes so once you click on yes it it opened a window and it, it opens this window after that so you can see welcome to the postgre sql setup widget so obviously this information uh, window only nothing you need to do just click on next once you click on next so it will ask you where do you want to install you need to have a space also in your drives so that is the reason why uh, they'll they'll give you um, the option to change also and one more thing by default it goes to the program files folder you can change it's up to you so it's up to you you can change to d drive x drive y drive wherever it is so let's click on next i i want to go with a separate uh, same uh, drive which has been proposed by uh, postgres let's click on next so once you click on next what are all the uh, one you want to do the installation you can see so i i want to do the postgresql server pg admin 4 we'll talk about what is pg admin and the stack builder will talk about and command line tools we'll talk about one by one later when we go it but by default uh, all four selected and go for it okay so let's click on next so once you click on next see it will ask you where do you want to store the data so i want to store the data also in the same 12 slash data folder so here you have option again to change the data so data means database files so if you see in the real world so databases will be in one drive and software will be in another another drive and that is the reason why it is providing a comfort to change now so i'm okay with c drive because i am not doing very complex um, data loads in my personal uh, uh, pc that's the reason i'm okay with c drive ideally in the real time you will not be going with a c drive because so you will keep um, data in the sand drives and uh, softwares in the uh, system drives so that is a different hardware uh, terminology let's not talk about that on it let's click on next so once you click on next so it will ask you for the password if you see password so please provide a password for the database super user postgres so if you see like by default like in uh, sql server sa will get it system administrator sa means so here also the default username is postgres so you need to give a password so you you just give it is a personal pc so you need to give your uh, familiar word so i am giving my familiar word you also give your familiar word so it's uh, it's up to you how complex you keep the password but in the real time let's keep a complex password but for the time being for the example purpose i am just keeping a very basic uh, password to me let's click on next so once you click on next it will it will go to a window where the port so this port really matters in the real time okay since you are working in a personal pc you do not need to worry too much but the port number really matters in a real time so because like by default it goes to the 5432 port if you see the um, uh, sql server side by default it goes to 1433 port okay so we'll talk about why port is required or else like you can go to the my playlist you can see why port really required on the sql side the same concept like apply here also so now let's uh, let's go for the default port i'm okay because this port is not occupied in my pc if this port is already occupied by some other application you cannot use it so one server one port one time that's it okay so this port is free in my server i am okay with that let's click on next so it depends like for each and every software having the de de default ports so let's take um, a sql server default port is 1433 so postgres uh, default port is 5432 so let me go for it i can change if i want i can give whatever the number i want 1234 yes i can give it this is up to me so but there is a very big important so we have for port numbers we'll talk about later let's click on next 
and the locale like uh, it is having a different um, uh, postgres supports different locales it's up to you like you you want to go for any different um, specific country locale or by by default you want to go with the default locale i am okay with the default locale i'm not that much um, uh, uh, like interest to change any locale like once you are done like it, it shows you the list of uh, settings what are the uh, things you showed you can just review it and click on next so once you click on next it asks you setup is now ready to begin installing the postgres sql on your computer yes of course ready click on next so once you click on next it takes a while to do the installation so let it install okay it it takes a while so let me uh, pause a video for a moment and let me come back yeah installation is uh, still going on yeah uh, just the uh, installation is finished you you can see the uh, the last uh, window of the installation um, uh, completing video uh, see if you see that you you have like uh, the stack builder may be used to download something else let's uh, you you can uncheck this or you can check this or you can click on uh, cancel at the later stage even so the uh, since we already did the check for stack builder you got this um, version you need to select here uh, the whatever the postgres sql which you install on your machine so as i mentioned here i installed postgres 12 version on the windows 10 machine okay so even i downloaded on other side 10 as well for the safer side but 12 is working here so let's uh, now let's select that particular one you can see here postgres sql 12 x 64 and port is 5432 so why we need this stack builder is uh, like um, uh, to connect to the postgres from different applications let us say so sometimes I used, to, I used to connect from SSIS uh, to Postgres or from Java to Postgres or from .NET to Postgres. So that time I need a little providers. So you don't directly connect. I need a little providers. So that is the reason why Stack Builder is useful for us. So let's uh, uh, select the version and click on next. So it, it will, it will uh, show you what are all the providers. You can do the installation, database drivers and all you can see. So P PG JDBC, PG ODBC, PSQL uh, ODBC and all. So you can select whatever you want and you can install it and you can you can go for it. So I'll, I'll do the um, uh, PG uh, JDBC and the PSQL ODBC 64 bit. So because like uh, I, I want to connect uh, from um, uh, what I say from SSIS. So that's the reason why I'm selecting this. So let's uh, click on you want to do go for any of the other uh, add-ons you can go for it. So it's up to you like um, you can go for it. It's already installed this one not required anyway. Okay, you can go for it. But as I mentioned, I'm selecting PSQL ODB 64 bit and PG JDBC V42. Let's click on next. And it will ask you where uh, where do you want to download and all you, you can uh, put it um, a download directory of something like that. Click on next. So let, let it go for it. Uh, th those are required to work with uh, SSIS or .NET or Java, something like that. That's the reason why for safer side, I'm showing you in the same installation video. So people ask you like, um, uh, uh, like uh, I, I'm not able to connect uh, to PGSQL from SSIS or from different applications. Since you do not have any of them uh, uh, providers, you will not be able to connect it. Okay, so let's, um, let's skip the installation for time being. Click on finish it, that's okay. So now, so once installation is completed, you, you can cross verify either how the, uh, like a, uh, uh, how the, how I can see in the folder structure and all. Let's go to the, um, uh, my um, windows and there you can see that particular PG SQL uh, in, um, in the programs. So you can see here PostgreSQL 12. So let's expand this. You can see PG admin 4, application stack builder installation notes, PG admin 4, PG admin documentation, PostgreSQL documentation and all. Let's click on PG admin 4. So once you click on PG admin 4, so this is the first time I'm opening, it might take a while. So if, when I open a second time, it, it will open a bit faster. But first time it has to set up all his um, set of files here. So it takes a while. Yeah, it, it is asking for this password. Let's click on the, the center of the password. So click on OK. Yeah, once you enter a password, so you can see like this. So in the left side, you can see servers. You can just expand the servers and uh, you just need to enter the password again. Um, OK, so password and you can save the password. Click on OK. Yeah, you can see it here. It is connecting and 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 this is how. So it, it looks like this. 
so in the next video we'll talk about uh, so what are all the options we can see in the um, uh, databases login groups and table spaces and all so this is all about how to do the installation how to do the configuration of postgresql on a windows machine so that's all about it please uh, like and subscribe for uh, more videos if you have any question on postgres please drop your question on the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical videos that's it thank you thank you for watching